Hi everyone, this is Perusal Support, and today I'm gonna to walk you through getting LTI 1.3 integration set up in your Moodle. And please note with 1.3 integration, the IT admin at your school has to set this up in order for the instructor to enable it in their course. And I'm gonna be walking us through the setup using our support fact pages, and the link will be in the description. So first I'm gonna have this open. I'm gonna to go to the administrator setup section. I'm gonna have Moodle open. I'm gonna make sure my edit mode is on. I'm gonna select site administration plugins. Then I'm gonna search for external tools and I'm gonna select manage tools. I'm gonna to select to configure a tool manually. And the tool name is gonna be perusal 1.3. I'm going to grab the tool URL. I'm going to paste that into here. The tool description, which is the Perusal Social Learning Platform. Also, just going to pause really quick. Please note if you're first trying to test the tool out and you're trying to connect to our staging server and say you're on your uh, development or staging server in Moodle, you're going to want to make sure to do instead of app.perusal.com for any of these URLs, you're going to make sure to write staging.perusal.com. That will connect you to staging. But today we're going to connect to our production instance, um, our production server. So I'm going to use app.perusal.com. The LTI version will be 1.3. And we're going to grab the key set URL also on our fact pages. Same with the initiate login URL and the redirect URI. Next, we're gonna take a look at the tool configuration usage. If you are using the new version of Moodle, make sure to click show in activity chooser as a pre-configured tool. If you haven't updated it, make sure to uh, select show as pre-configured tool when adding an external tool. Since we have the updated version, I'm gonna click this one and I'm always gonna click default launch in a new window and check off support steep linking. Then if you press show more, you can grab our icon URL, which just gives you the logo in Moodle. Wait. And next, we're gonna to go to services. So in this situation, just follow our guidelines here. And the first one's gonna be, use this service for grade sync and column management. The second one, make sure to select use this service and same with the third. And then for privacy, set these to always because in order for perusal to grab um, and connect the user to their account in perusal, we need to uh, have the name of the user, their email, and the role that they are in the LMS. And then in order for grades to sync over, you always wanna press always. Then we're gonna select force SSL. I'm gonna press save changes. Great, so now we have this set up in Moodle, but as the admin in part two of the setup, you need to now connect it to perusal. So you're gonna see this icon here and you're gonna select this and you're gonna see all this information. Keep this tab open. Now we're gonna go into our perusal account. So now I'm gonna add that information that was in Moodle into my institutional dashboard. So the institutional dashboard, if you do not have that as a part of your account yet in Perusal, you'll need to email support at perusal.com and you will show us verification that the email you are sending us the request for is attached to your university website in some way, shape or form. Also, you could send us a business card or have a reference for someone to speak on your behalf just for security purposes. Once we accept that and we send you the institutional dashboard, now you'll be set to set it up. So I'm gonna go into my homepage of my account 
And as you can see, I have the institutional dashboard here at the top. And then I'm gonna go to settings and I am gonna click LTI 1.3 integrations. And I'm gonna select add a new LTI 1.3 integration. Since we're doing Moodle, I'm gonna click Moodle. So all those links that we have here, you're now gonna copy and paste each URL into the correct field in the institutional dashboard. And make sure you're putting them in the correct spaces or the launch isn't gonna work. So the deployment ID will be third. and the authentication request URL. You're gonna gra grab this right here. And it'll say off at the end of the URL, just if you're not sure where to put it. Then we're gonna grab the key set, which will have certs at the end. And now we're gonna get the token. Awesome, so I put everything in the correct place in the institutional dashboard, and now all you have to do is press save. Now, instructors can enable the tool in their Moodle course. As a teacher, now I'm gonna show you how to activate the tool in your specific course. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard, and I'm gonna go into my testing space. And I have it set up so you can set it up however you want, but I'm just gonna put my perusal links under this uh, section. And I'm gonna press add activity or resource. And from here, you will see that perusal 1.3 is in the market. And I'm just gonna name the activity perusal 1.3 because I just want this link to take students and uh, myself into the course as a whole. I'm gonna press select content. So this message that pops up is if you were originally using perusal on LTI 1.1 integration, or even before integrating into the LMS, you had an account with perusal. This is basically just saying, hey, we, uh, we detect that you are in our server already with a search and account, but now you're trying to connect in this new way. And we are asking if you can confirm that this is your account, and then we will merge the accounts together so it doesn't create duplicate accounts. So if you get this message, you will go to your email inbox and you will confirm the merge. So I'm gonna go do that right now and we will be right back. All right, so we are back. I confirmed the email message from Perusal and now I'm gonna go back into Moodle and select the content. And that message will only pop up once. You won't be prompted to ask it again. So as you could see here, Perusal pulled up in a new window. And because I want this just to link to the account as a whole, I'm gonna press link to homepage. And then from there, I'm gonna press save and display. And here we are. So now as the teacher, I can continue setting up my course and my grade sync settings after I launch the tool. And we will go more into grade sync settings in another video. Thanks for watching.